This is the future. I think this is the right time to post this guide since Sisters of Parvo's brought tons of weapons in the game, ranging from Kuva variants, the Tenet variants, and weapons you can get from the new Warframe quest, and weapons that are also granted when completing a specific task. This video is all about leveling those new weapons fast while playing solo. I know that I have already released a weapon leveling video, making good use of Elite Sanctuary Onslaught with a Spectro Siphon Vorban build and still, it's one of the best leveling methods for your weapons in the game right now. However, there's a bunch of people in my community asking for a solo weapon leveling method and I think this is the best time to release that since this update has tons of weapons right now. But before that, I would like to share Wallet Prime. This wallet is just amazing and after months of using it, I really can say that this product is built to last and pure quality. I'm very satisfied with this as, after months of rough use, it still feels and looks the same. It's still compact, with no usage issues. And just by looking at it after a few months of use, I can say that the leather, and as well as the other materials used to create this wallet is of high quality. Now let me tell you what makes this wallet extraordinary, as it got quick access to all your cards. An RFID protection feature which secures your identity, money, and cards. It also comes with a key tracker which allows you to locate your wallet worldwide. It's also voice activated, and it's easy to set up using the Chipolo app. And the best part is, the key tracker is solar powered. 2 hours of sunlight gives your tracker 2 months of charge. What I really love about Hexter is that you get what is advertised in the video. I got mine, and I've been using this for weeks now, and honestly, I love and will never replace this wallet again. Its sleek and elegant design are the things I like first about this futuristic wallet. And after using it for a while now, I honestly can say that this is the perfect wallet for me. Now I don't have to look for my wallet as I can easily track it with one click of a button on my mobile device. I also don't have to worry about someone skimming my cards. And most importantly, I don't have to worry about bulky wallets in my butt. I did get another extra wallet for my father and my wife. If you still prefer the classic wallet, then they have the bifold wallet which perfectly suits the taste of my father. It has the same quality leather and lots of space to put your money and cards. While for my wife, she prefers the Senate Steel Blue to hold her loyalty cards from shops and important government identification cards. The Senate Blue can also hold cash with its unique money holder and also comes with an RFID protection mechanism. If you want to get this amazing wallet, then kindly use the link I have provided in the video description and as well as the pinned comment. Go get the best wallet in the market right now. Secure your money with style and join the thousands of people who are now using Exta. The link is at the video description and pinned comment. Thank you all for your support. Now let's get back to the video. As you might already guess in the clip, I am using Loki to rank up my weapons fast while playing solo. And, as you can see, I'm using Equinox's Rest and Rage ability on him. In case you didn't know, this is the work of the Helminth system. For those new and returning players, we have a system now which allows you to subsume one specific Warframe ability into another. Check out your Helminth room and go to Sun on Deimos to get the Helminth synthesizer. The good thing about this leveling method is that, aside from you can do it solo, the scope of this method is not only for guns and melee weapons in the game. You can level up arch guns also using this method, and I will show you the full run on how to do it later. For now, let's discuss builds. For Loki, you would need to subsume first rest and rage on any of his other three abilities except invisibility. We need this for it augment and make every guns silent. You can try adding the hush on primary and suppress mod in your primary and they work just fine and you will end up with the stealth affinity multiplier which is the thing we need to rank up our weapons fast. However, it's better to just use the hushed invisibility augment for Loki in my opinion since we will need to put as many damage mods on our guns so it can one shot enemies in the mission that we will be using to rank up our weapons fast. Not all weapons have polarities, and it would take a lot of mod space to just put a single damage mod in that weapon. In terms of modding, focus on modding with damage multi-shot, and either corrosive or radiation since we will be dealing with Grineers. In case the weapon has a high critical chance, then consider critical instead of multi-shot mods. For melee weapons, there will be no problem since one, they have stance that increases the mod capacity, and melee weapons also have high damage mods. 
and acolyte mods that help them do more damage. The first mod you should fit in is pressure point or the primed pressure point. Then, go with critical chance and elemental if you can. So what mission squad leader? The same mission as leveling warframes, and that is the exterminate mission in Telsto Saturn. Take note that this is just the normal star chart, and not the steel path version. The exterminate mission in Adaro Sedna is also a good spot for this weapon leveling, but Telstu is better since it has lower leveled enemies that even those mediocre weapons can level up using this strategy. Take note that how fast you can rank up your weapons using this method depends on how powerful the weapon is. If it's an area of effect weapon that can hit multiple enemies and kill them at once, then you can level up them to rank 30 in a matter of minutes, more specifically, an average of 5 minutes. For weapons that struggle to kill even normal star chart enemies, or those you considered as mastery rank fodder, and only used to rank up your mastery, then it would take 2 runs of Telsto to max rank them which takes about 10 minutes. I know it's not as fast as the Elite Sanctuary Onslaught in weapon leveling, but it's solo leveling and it's applicable for all weapons except arch melee weapons since we don't have an option to spawn this yet in the star chart. Another factor of this leveling method is how consistent you are in proccing the stealth affinity bonus. If you can maintain this throughout the mission, then there is a possibility that you would end up max ranking even those mastery rank fodder weapons in just one run. But the only limitation of this strategy is it's not intended for beginners since you will need the Helminth system, you would need to farm Equinox and subsume her to the Helminth, and then, you would need Loki and some Helminth resources. My advice for new players is just doing the Elite Sanctuary Onslaught leveling until you get the necessary stuff for this leveling method. The good thing though is, you won't have any problem with host migration with this leveling. And you can do this anytime you want and, if you perfect this method, you will most likely level up weapons faster than the Elite Sanctuary Onslaught method that requires a team to level up faster. The rest of the video is a demonstration of how fast you can level up weapons with this method. Also, a quick shout out to Ryder for one of his Reddit posts about fast solo archgun leveling. I was scrolling the Warframe Reddit page last Monday for some Warframe news about melee nerfs and I have seen his post. I was planning to release a solo weapon leveling video during Sisters of Pavo's update, but I didn't test archguns and I thank him for sharing that this method actually works also for your archguns. He has a YouTube channel, and to thank him, I am asking that you check out his channel which I left the link at the pinned comment below, and subscribe to help him grow his community. More Sisters of Pavo's guides soon, so I hope you stick around and enjoyed the content. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off. Evolution. This is the future. This is the future. This is the future. This is the future. This 
is the future. This is the future. 